welcome to your straight up strength upper body workout so this workout um, just a bit like the workout that we did earlier in the week um, that was focused on lower body but we're going to focus on upper body today a uh, circuit work but very consistent it's going to go very fast all you'll need is a couple of weighted items or some hand weights so if you're doing this on YouTube Fast forward about a minute and then you can go ahead and get started. If we're waiting on Facebook, I'm just going to give it one or two more minutes just so we can get started with everybody joining. So, welcome to this evening's workout for Facebook. Hello guys, we are doing straight up strength upper body, which basically means we are doing no full impact. Well, just maybe. <laughs> hey, hi, welcome. So, this is low impact. There's nothing here that's gonna hurt any joints or anything, but you will need two weighted items. If you don't have weights, hi, go ahead and grab two tins of something, two bottles of water, um, any two things that you can hold, two toys that have got decent weight to them. But I do want you to have uh, two weighted items because the workout obviously is upper body based and we just wanna make sure all those muscles are working. So I'm just gonna give it Hang on one second, we're gonna go into a warm up and then we're just gonna go ahead and get started into circuits. It is circuit work, it's very consistent, very similar to Tuesday. Um, I literally have no idea if anyone else is joining us, we'll just take it as it comes, give it a second anyway. So let's just go ahead and get started with a warm up. So I want windmills with your arms, so you're gonna put one arm up and back and then as you come back with that arm, start with the other one. Okay, so try and get a nice rotation here, not only in your shoulders, but in your kind of like side obliques, so in your side abs, okay? So just literally windmill those arms back and back. Give me two more and then we'll go ahead and put them forwards. Are you ready? So forwards, forwards, forwards. That's it. We're just literally opening up at the moment, just the kind of shoulder joints, just because we're going to need to. We're holding load, we're holding weight. Just open us so out. Cross the arms, out, and then change the arm that's on top. Okay, so as you come back, really try and focus on squeezing those shoulder blades together. Over, squeeze, over, squeeze. Give me two more. Squeeze, over, squeeze. Now take one arm up and over your head. We're just going to do a very brief tricep stretch here. Hi, Alyssa, don't worry, we're just literally warming up, okay? So just quickly, we want to stretch out the triceps here. Take a deep breath. Really pull on this muscle here. Open up those arms, other side. Take a deep breath. We're gonna do a little we're gonna do a slightly longer warm-up here just because we're adding load and it is quite tension filled, okay? But it's low impact, no jumping, no nothing. So take a deep breath, interlace your fingers at the top here, breathe out, and then I want you to lean over to a if you're leaning over to the left, look over to the right. We're just gonna get that whole upper body kind of warmed up here. Nice little pulse just to get deeper in there, back to center, over to the other side. There we go. Okay, so hands to centre. We're just going to do one more of those chest openings just because I want to make sure we are fully ready for this. And whilst you guys are doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get started with our timer, okay? And the timer on here that I need to read for you guys. So just literally keep doing that. So we have four circuits. Like I said, you do need weighted items or hand weights. Go ahead. Grab them now, because we're going to go into circuit one, which is based on our shoulders, okay? Stick with me, I promise you, you're going to really enjoy this one. Alright, so, here's the deal. I want your feet hip width apart or slightly wider, depending on where you feel comfortable stance-wise, okay? But it's really important, I want you at all times to focus on crunching your abs in a little, okay? Because we might as well get some ab work in as well at the same time. All right, so it's really important with your stance, shoulders back, okay, abs crunched in slightly, okay, so tailbone slightly in. Are you ready? I want you to come up to 90 degrees with both your arms, okay? We're gonna hold with your left arm, just in this position, and then with our right, we're gonna push that weight up and bring it back down again. That is all we're doing, okay? Are you ready? In four, in three, in two, in one. Let's go, and push, and down, and push. And down. So depending on how heavy your weights are here, you might find that this is a little bit more difficult or you might be finding this is quite quite easy. In which case, you can always double up the weight in the hand that's moving and just hold a static hold with this hand here. Keep going or push up 
bring it down, push up. So even though we, this arm's not doing very much over here, this left arm, it is working. It's statically holding, which actually is almost harder, right? So now hold this one, other side up. Right, so now, because we've kind of burnt that out already, it's feeling it, right? You're feeling it all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down. Just keep holding with that other weight. It's low impact, but we're doing straight up strength, okay? So we really need to power on through it. You've got one more move after this and you get to drop the weight. So just stick with it and down for five more seconds. Keep going. Can you get two more in? Down, down, up. Now watch. I want you to bring them in and out. In without dropping it. Out. In, try and get those elbows to touch if you can. In. I haven't got quite got that range of motion, mainly because my weights are quite heavy. In and out. Keep it going. Yes, you can do it. And in and out. And in and out. Keep it going here. Five and four and three, two, one. Drop those weights for a second. Okay, that was circuit one, round one done. We're going back to the top, all right? Now you know the moves. You know that they're quite intense, even though it's for short periods of time. Shake those arms out, give them a bit of life back into them, and now I want you to grab those weights again, because we're gonna go back in. Are you ready? Static hold of both those weights. We're gonna start on the other side this time, okay? So left arm goes up in four, in three, in two, in one, and push. Down, and push, and down and push, and down. I know, see, I told you we were burning straight away. Okay, straight up strength here. If you're really struggling, just drop the weight, because your body weight of your enclosed fist is gonna be enough. Let's go down, and up, down, and up. See, that arm that's not doing very much, that's where all your mentality's going right now, isn't it? And up, and push, and down. For three, two, one, and swap. Holding the static hold on that left side, Push that right one up. Go. Yes. Straight up strength. We're here for it. Yes. Crunch those abs and get a good stance here. We want to make everything work. Up. Down. Up. Keep it going. Woo! Feeling that burn. I do as well. Let's go. Up. Four. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And in. In. Out. In, out, in, out, keep it going. I know it burns, I'm doing it with you, and I'm feeling it. If you need to drop the weight, that's fine, you can drop them. You have your fists here, in, out, in, out. There's no shame in doing this because we've just done a burnout, so that's gonna literally mean that you feel it. So for the last few minutes, I'm gonna pick the weight back up, in, and out, in, and out, in, and out, for two, one, drop the weight. Okay, keep those weights nearby, okay? You get the gist of kind of what we're doing now. Time under tension, which means that even though we're not doing very much with the arm that's just holding the weight, we really are. It's really quite, quite sore. It's almost harder to do nothing and then it is to actually move the weight. So grab some water, circuit two. We are basing on our biceps, okay? Same sort of gist here, okay? Stick with it, stay strong, all right? Because it is a strength workout. So we don't jump, but it doesn't mean it's any easier. So grab your two weights. I want you to hold them in a curl, like so. Are you ready? We're gonna just curl one, all right? So this is what it looks like, up. So touch shoulder, touch thigh, all right? With one arm, and I'll tell you when to switch. We go in four, in three, in two, in one, let's go. Up and hold the, hold the left arm at 90 degrees and down. And tap and down. Tap and down. Tap and down. Keep it going. Yes, you can do it. It seems hard, I know, but it's very short spaces of time that we're working in here. So we wanna get the maximum out of it. We wanna burn in this time. And up, down, and up. Keep it going. Down. Up, hold, other side, down, up, whoo, feeling that one. Let's go, all the way down, all the way up. Keep it going, stick with me, stay with it. I know it burns, I have to do all the moves with you, but if you need to drop your weight, you drop your weight. Let's go, up, 
down. We've got one more move and you get to put them on the floor anyway. Just make sure you keep moving. Down, up, four, three, two, one. I want you to hold them. Out, in, out. We're hitting them from a completely different direction right now, okay? So, brace those abs in. Keep your elbows as close to your rib cage as you possibly can. Out, in, out, in. Over halfway, let's go. Push, push, push. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the weight. Shake it out. <laughs> Insane, right? Doesn't look like very much, but if you are doing it, you fully well know that this is a burnout on every single move. From the static hold to the movement, the whole lot of it is just a little bit insane because you are working from reserves that your body is kind of forcing to have to give to maintain all the positions that we've got here, all right? So we've got that circuit to do again. So just literally shake your arms out one more time. They're gonna feel like jelly after this anyway. <laughs> Let's get them, get the weights ready. Whoo, are you feeling it? Are you with me? Of course you are. Ready, so weights at bicep level curl. Are you ready? We're gonna go on the other side, up down, up, down. Make sure your elbows are as close into your rib cage as possible. Tap shoulder, tap thigh, tap shoulder, tap thigh. Remember you can drop the weight at any point. Take all that tension out of your neck. All right, drop your shoulders down, away from your ears, down, up. We tend to do that when we're feeling like our body's under stress, which is what strength training is. You tend to tense up. So tend, try and relax your shoulders away from your ears. Move your neck freely and hold, other side, Woo. feel that? It's quite hard to get that up and down after it's been under tension, right? Up, down, but you can see the finish line of biceps now, okay? And up, and down, and up, and just know we're not coming back here again. So we're just gonna give it all we've got for this last time. Down, and up, and down, and up. I know, I feel it, ready? Five seconds, and we do the rotations. In three, in two, one in the center, out, in, out, in. Try and use your core to stabilize you. Elbows right into your rib cage, out, in, out, in. Keep it going. Yes, those weights, whatever strength they are, whatever weight they are, are probably feeling more like double that right now. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop them. Amazing. So we have burnt our shoulders. We have burnt out our biceps here. So we're going to naturally move on to triceps, okay? This is toned arms, which means that the whole time when in the summer, when you want to wear bikinis, when you want to wear strappy tops, dresses, or get your guns out for whatever reason, these are the exercises really that are going to make sure that you feel toned and confident with doing that, okay? Grab some water. We're going to move into circuit three which is all about our triceps. So as you know, this workout is a little bit shorter than some of our others, but we are putting everything we have into it. All right, it's written as a burnout. So we're gonna go into triceps, then we're gonna do an ab circuit, finish your power up home. So you're literally coming up to your halfway mark already. Okay, sip of water now. So, triceps, we're gonna do tricep extensions first. Weights come together, up, drop from your elbows up, okay? So, grab those weights for me, push them together, I want them up and overhead, it looks like so, drop and up. Are you ready? Take a deep breath, get in position, crunch those abs in a little, two, one, down, up. So you want them to fold from your elbows all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, keep it going. Push those weights together, or if you've got weights and you're feeling like this is too heavy, have one weight and hold it end to end. It's the same thing, okay? We're just lowering the weight slightly. You're still gonna feel it. Down, up, down, up. Keep it going, crunch those abs in. Three, two, one, now three count. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. Yes, this is your burnout, up. But you'll be pleased to know that the next move is slightly different. So you won't be doing too much of triceps in our last move of this circuit. Up, three, two, 
one, up. Three, two, one, up. Keep it going. And then I want you to drop one of your weights, ready? In four, three, two, one. Drop one of those weights. Chest height, we're gonna push forward. We're gonna push up, straight into it. Forward and up. And forward and up. Try and keep this forward push at chest height. Okay, push. Pass it to the person in front, lift it to the sky. Pass, lift, pass. So if you're feeling that then tricep dips, uh, tricep extensions are too much, keep this weight as we're holding it now. Three, two, one, drop the weight. So I'm gonna give you a brief relaxed period right here at the end of the circuit just because we've been doing burnouts. So we wanna make sure that we get the energy back into those muscles so we can repeat the circuit again, okay? Yes, still with me? Of course. Circuit three, we've got one more circuit after this, of course. This is the last arm circuit. Are you ready? Grab those weights, pop them together, lift them up to the sky. Ooh, I'm here with you. Crunch those abs in, in two, one, down. Lift all the way up, down. Bend from the elbows and try and keep your elbows as close to your ears as you can. Core keeps you strong, core keeps you upright. Up, down, and up, down. And up, I feel it too. You're gonna wake up tomorrow and be like, yeah, look at those arms. I know it, down, up. Are you ready for that three count? Yeah, of course you are. In three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up. Woo, burning my arms out here. Down, up, keep that chin off your chest. Down, up, three, two, one, down, up, so I'm gonna drop one of the weights, hold it end to end, so you can do three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. You've still got resistance, up. But because they're burnouts, they're hurting. Let's go, and forwards, ready? If you've had two weights, drop one, let's go. Push out, push up, push out, push up. Yes, strength is no joke, up. Push out, push up. Keep it going, out, up, out, up. You've got 10 more seconds, push, and up, and push, and up. Yes, I feel it too. We want strong, toned arms, let's go. For two, one, drop that weight. Okay, so for circuit four, we don't need any weight. So put them to the side. We will be needing them again for our power up and finisher, but right now, no weight, we're gonna focus on the abs now, okay? We've burnt out every part of our arm that we possibly could. So now we're gonna go and do an ab burnout, okay? Stay with me. None of the moves are high impact, but they are in a way advanced because we're keeping time under tension. We are making our body, forcing it to pump energy to where we want it to build that muscle. Muscle eats fat, okay? So you're gonna look toned, doing very doing less than if you're just dieting okay grab water we're going to go down to the floor okay first move we're doing is crunches with our feet at 90 degrees all right so jeremy down here you're going to pop your feet up into 90 degrees down up join me down up down up down up chin off your chest breathe inhale Exhale, keep it going. Look up to the sky here. Woo, feeling it? Yes, keep it going. Down, up, down, up. Really crunching every time. Let's go. Up, down, up. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold this one up. Lower the heels to the floor. Bring them up. Lower, up. Try and keep this. If you're, if you're really struggling here, you can put your hands and head back on the floor, but try and keep them up for that added resistance and to work the full abs down, up, down, up. Keep it going, one more move. Then you get a brief rest before we repeat. Down, up, down, up. Three, two, one, hold it up. Bicycles, let's go. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Keep it going. The final push here, and then you get a break. Feeling it? Yes. 20 more seconds is all I'm asking of this move. Push, push, let's add some speed to it. Let's go. 
make them abs work. We came here for abs, we came here for arms. Let's go. Woo! Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees into your chest, roll up. We're gonna go ahead and do that circuit again. Okay, starting with the crunches, leg lowers, bicycles, all right? This is the ab circuit. We're here for it, right? <laughs> so you're doing really, really well. And it is strength based and it is hard, but I'm not got you jumping and there's no burpees. So just think of that as a bonus. Right, back onto your back for me. Remember 90 degree legs. Are you ready? In three, in two, in one, knees up, up, down, up. Feels a bit different this time this move, doesn't it? Because we've already worked them now. Up, let's go. Elbows out. So you can put your fingertips behind your ears. And when your elbows facing towards the walls around you, let's go up, down, up, down. Keep it going. Woo! Eight seconds. And then we're going to hold that crunch and lower those heels. Three, two, one. Hold this crunch. Lower, up, lower, up. Try and keep your shoulder blades off the floor. Down, up. It's just a leg lower, but it feels crazy, right? Down, up down up keep it going push through the pain the pain is just change change in the direction that you want to go in let's go up six five four three two one hold it up bicycles let's go burn it out last 30 seconds let's go push 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 keep it going yes Woo! no matter how you do these you're going to be feeling your abs feeling like they're on fire Let's go, halfway, push, push, push. Yes, I'm right here with you. 10 seconds, yes, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, rest it out for a second. Okay, roll on up to me. So we've got a power up and we've got finisher, okay? So power up here is a combination for our arms. And the finisher is an arm and then an ab burnout, all right? <laughs> Stick with me. We've got literally of actual work, three minutes. Okay, can you give me three minutes? Yeah, enjoying it? Of course you are. Abs on fire? Yes, arms hurting? Of course, but we've got a little bit more in the tank and I know you do. So we're gonna go ahead and just go for it, okay? So, this move we're doing, we're gonna hit biceps, shoulders, and triceps, all in one movement, okay? I want you with me for a full 60 seconds, so pace it out. To just <laughs> we just burnt out our abs, yeah, but we're just gonna add a little bit more to that, because I mean, why not? We came here, we've been working, and we wanna leave with six packs, so, right, grab your weights. Okay, so, we're here for a minute, here's what the move looks like. We're gonna curl, we're gonna press, we're gonna tricep extend, and then we're gonna come back around and repeat. You can do it however you do it in pace wise, okay, but try and get as many reps in as you can. Are you ready? Crunch those abs. We're going five seconds in four. Grab those weights, three, two, one. Get in the right mental space. Bicep, shoulders, tricep, round. Let's go. Let's burn them all out. Biceps, shoulders, triceps, all the way around. See, because we're using different muscle groups for each of these moves, it's more maintainable for long term, okay? I'm not making you hold anything statically, you're just right here with me, let's go. Coming up to your halfway mark, push, extend, up, round, down, up, up, extend, down, round. Keep it going, you're over halfway, push, extend, up, round, down. You can see the finish line. After this, there's literally two minutes of work, of actual work. And then you get a lovely little stretch. Down, up, round. Can you give me 10 more seconds? Push, down, up, round. Keep going, five seconds. Can you get one more in? Why not, let's just do it. Down, up, push, extend, up, safely, pop those weights down. So, we're about to hit our shoulders and chest from a completely different angle for our finisher, okay? 
and then we're going to hit our abs from a completely different angle. So what we were just doing is we kind of ripped down the middle of our abs. Okay, now we're going to kind of rip down the sides in the finisher. And like we were doing, we've kind of ripped all of our arms here. And now we're going to do like chest area, okay? Because it's like a natural boob lift. Yeah, and who doesn't want that? Right, okay, so here's how it goes. We're going to go down on the floor into a glute bridge. You're going to need two weights for this, okay? I'm going to show you what it looks like and then you're just going to go ahead and join me. So come down, all the weight in the heels at all times, remember? Because we're going to activate the glutes like sneakily. <laughs> so we're going to do a chest press to a chest fly. Here's what it looks like. Push up. Okay, you're going to push those weights up with them facing, um, with the ends facing each other. Okay, down, up, then you're going to rotate the weights and then bring them out into a fly. Okay, and you're going to turn and press and then you're going to turn and fly. All right, so get in position, weight in the heels, lift the toes slightly off the floor. Are you ready to join me? Yes. And then we've got this and we've got one ab movement and you're free to go. Take a deep breath. Push those, push your booty up to the sky. Nice strong form in three, two, one. Push, round, fly. And down, up, it, rotate, and out. Let's go. Keep it going. Make sure you're pushing the weights up above your chest. Out, round, up. Round and in, and down, and up. Keep it going, coming up to your halfway mark. Depending on what weight you chose to use, if you had a variety, you might be doing these quickly, it might be taking you a bit longer. Let's go. Halfway. Down. Up. Turn. Out. Up. Down. Up. Rotate. Out. Up. Keep it going. Your booty should be feeling it as well here. Your glutes are probably a bit like, what's going on? Let's go. You've got 15 seconds. And up. Down. Up. Rotate. Out, up, down, up, rotate, out, up, round. Here we go for three, for two, finish the rep you're on, for one, lower your bum, bring those weights down safely, come up, one more move, ab based. Okay, are you ready? Here's what we're doing, last minute of work. We're going to do a weighted sit up to Russian twist. If you can't sit up yet, I want you to just do the Russian twist, okay? One weight, or two if you're feeling adventurous. But here's what it looks like, okay? You're gonna come all the way down. You are going to bring the weight fully overhead. All right, so you're gonna come up, and then we're gonna twist and twist in like a rainbow. If you're a beginner and you're not feeling like you can quite get there, you're just gonna do Russian twist, but lift your feet up off the floor if you can, okay? Otherwise, we're gonna do a weighted pullover, Okay, so then we're going to sit up with the weight in the air, over, over, back down, and repeat. Are you ready to go? Okay, in four, in three, in two, in one. Pull over, push up, over, over, back, down. Over, push, over, over, back, down. Pull, push, over, over, back, down. Pull. Push, over, over, back, down. Keep it going, pull. Push, over, over, up, down. Pull, push, we can do it. Halfway, and down. Keep it going. This is the last push. Over, and down, and pull, push. So we're getting a little bit of arms, a little bit of abs, and we're finishing strong. Over, over. Literally coming up for your last 10 seconds. Push, over, 10, nine. Keep it going, pull, push, over, over, back, down, one more, over, push, yes, and drop the weight. Well done ladies and gents. You did amazing, come lay down flat on the floor for me. Lay all the way down onto your front here. Hands by your chest level, okay? Shoulders and arm, elbows back, push up. Literally just push up and hold. Take a deep breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Really extend into that ab area. Take a moment of appreciation for the burnouts that you just did on every part of your upper body. Yes, I was right there with you, I felt it. <laughs> okay, come and take a seat and face me. 
All right, so what we're gonna do is, in fact, what might be really nice is for those of you that are feeling a bit flexible, is to do a little bit of a glute stretch too. So if you can fold your knee over the top of your other knee and just kind of hold your feet there, amazing. You're gonna feel that down the glutes, which is gonna be amazing if you did Tuesday too. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that tricep stretch, like we did in the beginning, arm up, behind your back, support it here. Okay, a little bit of resistance just means we can get actually into that, um, into the tricep muscle, okay? Take a deep breath in and out. And again, and out. Okay, so if you're doing the leg stretch, let's swap legs, over and over, knees stacked. Get your feet nice and comfy, take a little seat. Other arm up, over and pull. So we're combining a few little stretch moves here. If you're finding it too complicated, just focus on the arm ones for me, okay? Stick with me, take a deep breath. If you're like me, you're feeling it more in your glutes here than you are up here, but that's fine. Okay, I'll stand in front of you. You can release the leg stretch here. Just get comfy for a second, okay? One arm, so if we're gonna start with our right arm out in front of us, Cross it over the body, support it with the left, drop that shoulder away from your ear. Act as if this arm is kind of providing a bit of resistance. Let's stretch across our shoulders here. Deep breath. And again. Okay, chest open up and then swap arms. Cross the body, pull, drop that shoulder away from your ear. Another deep breath for me a moment of appreciation for the fact that we just did a time under tension workout completely different to a lot of the ones that we're used to doing but you will feel that tomorrow you're probably feeling it now okay interlace those fingers lock them behind your back pop that chest out keep your chin off your chest close your eyes if you want to just take a moment of appreciation for you right now okay open up that chest try and feel like you as if you're trying to literally open the muscles on your chest here okay there we go squeezing the shoulder blades in at the back okay interlace the fingers at the front try and feel like you're pushing something away from you and if something's on the back of your hands and you're trying to push it away flip your grip that's it so palms now facing away okay bring them up overhead and lean over to the side like we did in the warm up. Whatever side you're leaning towards, so I'm leaning left, so I'm looking right just to open up down that side oblique. Back to centre. Other way. Amazing. Do really, really, really well. Okay, just stand up if you're seated. We're going to take a couple big breaths in and out, just with our arms as well, just so that we can kind of loosen everything up. And then you are free to go. So deep breath in, all the way up, interlace the fingers if that's comfortable, take a deep breath out, and then lean back. So I want your head and your gaze to go with your arms, just a back bend. Forward, back down, and again, in. Interlace those fingers, flip the palms, lean back, stretch it all out. Focus on stretching from your stomach all the way up to the front of your neck and lean forward. Amazing, well done guys. So that wasn't a sweaty workout, it was very low impact, majorly strength based, which can completely different challenge to some of the other workouts that we're used to, okay? So that was your half an hour upper body burn. Let me know how you got on and how you was feeling and I will see you next week for the next lot of workouts.